So here it is, it's the beautiful box we're going to be making today. It's a little jam box, um, a little mini one that holds three jams. Okay. Absolutely beautiful, using one of the new ink colours, but I'll go into that in more detail shortly. So, you're going to need your scoreboard, mine's in inches, and then you're going to need a piece of cardstock, this is Melon Mamba, which is a gorgeous colour, and this is seven and a half by eight and a quarter. So, what you're going to do is you need to score, so down the left hand side, make sure it's pushed, so this is on the long side, so eight and a quarter, we're going to score at half an inch. one and a half inches and six and a half inches and then you're going to rotate it 90 degrees and we're going to score it half an inch again uh, two and a quarter four inches and five and three quarter inches okay and then what we're going to do is with the, um, as you've got it now, so with the narrow section on the left hand side, in this second rectangle down, so I don't know if you can see if I hold it up for you first, so we've got the little thin rectangles across the top and then there's this next section. So in that section you need to put a little dot on that top line at one and three eighths. and at four and seven eighths okay and then that's it for our scoreboard so what we need to do next is grab a ruler and i'm still using my scoring stylus it's from that point you've just made on your scoreboard you need to connect that, that diagonally to the corner so if i do this one and then show you Hopefully, I don't know, as I say, if you can see that. Just there, there's that little triangle. So we're going to do the same again on the other one. Just join those up. Okay. So we're going to do some... Uh, do you want to do this first? Which way should we do it? We'll do some uh, folding and burnishing first. So, just as normal, do all of them. So I'm just going um, along the short side effectively first and doing all the long ones. And same at the bottom. Okay. And then when you come to the top, what you need to do is this one on the top you want to fold out, so the opposite way to all your other folds. Okay. Next one down, same as normal. And then you've got your triangle section, so all I'm going to do is just slightly fold them out, just slightly, and it'll go along that line as we put that in. Okay, so now we need to do a bit of trim. So, what we're going to do is going to leave all of these sections except this bottom one here. So, this bottom rectangle we need to cut off. Okay, so that goes, and then all we need to do is cut up each of these bottom score lines. Okay. That's just to create the base of your box. So as you can see, if I quickly put it together, see that they are folding. Okay. So now we need to put our DSP on, and the DSP I've got I've gone for is lemon line twist and it's from the um, from the new fresh floors collection so that's the one side of it but I'm going to use this side um, and the DSP is there's four number of them and it's one and a half by four and three quarters and we're going to put one of these on each side okay so just use a flash fuse um, and make sure you get the glue right to the edge as that will matter um, when we do our next bit okay so all we're going to do is line these up so 
So you'll already by now the new catalogue will be out. It came out on the 1st of June. So I'm guessing you're all very excited. I know I am. I've already placed some orders and obviously the um, as a demonstrator you can do some pre-orders. So I've got a few items like this. But I know there's plenty more I will be buying. But again, as always, as I've said in many videos, I do love these new ink colours. This lemon lime twist is amazing. Not a colour I would normally choose, but definitely I've used it in a lot of my projects recently. Okay, so we've got those on there. The next thing you need to do is flip it over. And we're going to do a bit of marking on the inside just to help with what we're going to do. So on the outer one here, I'm just going to draw a diagonal line just in pencil across. And the same on this outer one. Okay. That is just helping me line up where I need to go. Sorry about that, my uh, camera battery died. So let's carry on, shall we? So as I said, I've just drawn, drawn diagonal lines on the end too. Then what we're going to do is get this um, decorative label punch, fold it in half and then all I'm going to do is line up the punch using the score line, my lines in the middle, best I can and punch. It will be a bit stronger as it's going through two bits of cardstock and one and two bits of DSP. It will go though. Okay. And then the same on the other side. Okay. As you can see, we've now got some holes in our cardstock through the DSP as well. Okay. So, in order to help with this, we're going to put on some acetate. So, I have four pieces of acetate that are uh, one and five eighths by two and a quarter inches, and they just fit over the holes. Okay. So, what we're going to do is use some of our um, strippy stick tape. And I'm going to, oh, I'm on a new roll. And I'm not. I'm not. Um, so what I'm going to do is put some on top and bottom of the acetate. And then you probably need some down the side, so there you go, so it's fine for top and bottom. And then I think I'll put some down the side as well. So it'll go just over both bits, okay. And then some just, just here, I'll need to trim this one as it's a little bit wide. But that's fine, it's just to give it that extra bit of support. So we can sit the first one on, just peel back the red bit and the same on the two bits here and then all we're going to do is line that off, okay? So yeah, as you can see, hopefully, it's not very easy but we've got that beautiful window in. So I'm just going to do the same for all of these very quickly. Um, I hope my camera battery doesn't die again as it's um, it's currently sort of plugged in while I'm uh, recording so I don't know how that works. It might cut off again as I've got cables going a bit of everywhere on my, um, on my desk at the moment. So again peel off all the backs and just repeat that process. Two more to go. So this is just 
I mean, I made the box the other day for um, the little jam jars, which I did love. I just thought it needed that something extra. And by doing this and adding in these little windows, it just gives the guest or the, the person you're giving them to that little that little bit extra. They, they can, all right, they can see what, what you're sort of giving them. But again, it just looks that bit nicer again. All adds to it, really. last And there we go, there's all four windows in. So, now we need to get sorted on sticking this together. So, fast fuse down the side, or, well let's use the sticky tape, we won't use fast fuse. So, all the way down this one edge, make sure you put it close. I think I might put two rows of it, just seeing as um, the stability of this box obviously is slightly weakened. So just peel that one off and then stick the one next to it, um, as they will overlap slightly. Okay, so this will just help with the stability of the box um, as it has got those uh, cutouts in. Oh, come here. Okay, so all we need to do then is fold over the box. Okay, so there's that bit. Then we need to do your base. So what you'll see is where you've closed it together, that will be the back of your box. So then we need to fold in um, the back, your two sides, and then your front. And I'm just going to put a little bit of tape on the back, um, or we'll do fast fuse for this, just to help um, help it all stick together. As, as I say, you put in sort of little heavy jars in, so we need to just make sure it's secure. And again, I'm just going to keep putting it on each one I'm doing just to make sure and then finally on the last one okay so what you've got now is this cute little box okay one thing i did forget to do actually which is something you need to not do is you need to make sure you punch through that bit there if you can see i stuck it together now and i don't think no i won't be able to get it apart so make sure when you're doing this you actually cut that bit off with the punch as well, otherwise you'll end it with that there. Um, but for this demonstration that'll be fine, but make sure when you're making this for someone you do just cut off that edge. So we've now got these two triangle bits on each side, and all you can do is have those at the side, put your fingers in them, thumbs at the top, and just squeeze. And they'll naturally go in to that shape, naturally go in, okay? So pinch those together. And then what you're going to do is get your punch, I think this is my quarter inch, but it might not be, no it's not, not quarter inch, sorry, uh, it's one sixteenth, but I'm not sure. Uh, and then you're going to just line it up, just make sure it's all aligned for you. And then um, make sure you've got it the right way around, and we're just going to punch at the top. Make sure you're going through all layers and just punch. And then we're going to turn it round and punch again. Oh, that bit doesn't want to go for some reason. Oh, there we go. Okay, and punch, and then we're going to get some ribbon. Uh, actually, we'll put our items in first. So if you just drop in your items, let's say mine are these little jam jars. Okay. And then with some ribbon, I've got the quarter inch natural ribbon with the silver finish. And then we're just going to push this ribbon through, okay? It'll go eventually, there we go, one end. And then push the other end through. And 
then just tie it in a little bit. Again, bows are something I need to work on. And trim that down. Oh, let's make the bow a bit bigger actually. And there we go, a beautiful little gift box uh, for three little jam jars. And I think that, that's absolutely beautiful. So simple, but it looks looks beautiful. And these colours again, uh, Lemon Lime Twist and Melon Mambo, I've used in this case. As usual, all the info will be linked below, guys. Um, link to the blog, link to my Facebook, Pinterest, um, to my shop, a bit of everything. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. I'll be back soon. Thank you.